Hi there, this is Harry and welcome back to Advanced English Lessons with Harry where we try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language. You might just be preparing for those proficiency exams, you might be preparing for a job interview or simply want to improve your business English or your conversational English. Well, you've come to the right place, we'll be very happy to help you. Okay, so back to the lesson today. So it's an advanced English lesson and we're looking at advanced motion verbs. Uh, what are those advanced motion verbs? Well, they're verbs connected with motion, movement, okay? Motion and movement. So I've got 12 on my list today, so I'm going to go through them. I'm going to explain them, give you an example. Hopefully, you'll understand them. Hopefully, you'll be able to use them. Hopefully, you'll be able to introduce them into your speech. And again, if you don't understand and you need more information, I'll give you the address at the end of this particular lesson and you can write to me and I'll give you some more examples. Okay, back to the lesson. So here we go, number one. Soar. When something soars, it goes up really, really quickly. Halloween or some people will celebrate at the end of the year with fireworks and when they set a rocket for the fireworks it will soar up into the sky meaning it will go very very quickly. If they launch a satellite or some new space rocket from NASA then it will soar up into the sky very very quickly. Unfortunately at the moment because of inflation prices are soaring in our supermarkets. Price of gas, price of different fuels are soaring all of the time. They are going up really, really quickly. So to soar means to rise quickly. Next, hurtle. And just be careful with the pronunciation. Hurtle, okay, and the spelling H-U-R-T-L-E. When something hurtle, it's usually out of control. So when we were talking about rockets, when, when the rocket soars up into the sky, then the rocket disengages from part and the bottom of the rocket hurtles towards the ocean and it just falls into the ocean. So it hurtles somewhere out of control. Or if there's an avalanche of snow or rocks, they come sliding down the side of the mountain. They hurtle towards the villages below and there's a hope that people will be able to escape and get out of the way of the rock falls or the, the avalanche of snow. So when something comes hurtling towards you, it's moving very, very quickly and very, very fast. If you're into sci-fi, I'm not really, but if you're into science fiction and you're looking at all these crazy things that, that happen out in space when pieces of rock and meteors come hurtling into the atmosphere and hurtling towards Earth, they're not quite sure where they're going to land. Often they fall into the sea and never seen again. So they'd be watching them and monitoring their progress as these pieces of rock come hurtling towards us. So out of control, very, very fast and very, very hard to avoid them, to hurtle towards you. Zoom and whiz. Well, Zoom is used in a different way now. We use it as a communication platform. But when something zooms and whizzes, it goes really, really quick. These shooting stars whiz across the atmosphere, whiz across the sky, if you've ever been fortunate enough to witness one. Okay, or something zooms towards you, you can get this impression of something moving at 200 kilometers an hour. Zoom, yeah, okay. We also use the zoom lens on a camera to get a very, very close look at something. Zoom, so to zoom in on something means to get really up close and see all the particular details. So, all about motion and all about movement. Roll across. Well, this can be a little more leisurely. You know, we put a ball on the floor and we push it, it will roll across the floor. So if it's a round ball, it will roll. Yeah, okay. Or if it's a glass, you put it on the floor, it might roll across the floor for a few minutes. Or if you happen to be opening the bag of peas and they spill on the floor, they roll across the floor and all different directions okay so when something rolls it moves yeah it's it's uh, and if it's if it's round then it will keep rolling until you stop it okay so to roll across 
if you go out on a skateboard, it will roll across the pavement when you put your foot down and you push it. Hmm? So to roll something moving, okay, but not necessarily at a very high speed. Next, plunge. Well, at the beginning we had saw, so plunge is the opposite. So saw going up, up and up very quickly, plunge to go down, down just as quickly. So prices plunged this week and the gas market when people realized that they weren't using much as much gas, so prices have plunged. When there's no demand for a particular product, the prices will plunge. As interest rates rise, then properties are no longer so attractive, so the prices may plunge and you might be able to pick up a bargain or two. Okay, if there's an oversupply of fruit in the market or an oversupply of milk in the market, then the price for those particular products may plunge and therefore you'll be able to get things much more cheaply. So to plunge is to go down very, very, very quickly. Okay, plunge. If you jump off the side of a rock into the water, you plunge down deep into the water. Okay, is to go down quickly, plunge. I'd just like you to consider if you do like the lesson, please like the video and subscribe to our channel because it really, really helps. Whirl, and we often use the preposition around to whirl around. You know, when you s open the tap and your sink, the water goes into the sink and then it whirls around till it goes down the plug hole, yeah? Okay, and if you happen to be in the other part of the world, in Sydney, Australia, instead of London, it will whirl around in the opposite direction if you watch it, yeah? Okay, so to whirl around. Or you sit down and you watch your washing machine when you switch it on, the drum in the middle of the washing machine will whirl around when the washing machine is going at full speed and all your clothes get washed and hopefully they come out clean and also a little bit dry, okay? So to whirl around. Or if you take your kids to the uh, fun fair and they get on one of these games and they stand on it and then you push them around, you whirl them around really, really quickly and sometimes they can get a little bit dizzy. So if you turn around very quickly, circles, circle after circle after circle, you can whirl around, okay? So to whirl around means to go round in circles really, really quickly. Whoosh. Now this is a real sound as well as a, a motion, but if you're standing in a train station and there's a fast train approaching and it's not going to stop at this particular station, then whoosh is the sound you'll hear as the train comes through the station at a very, very high speed. And you have to be very careful you're not standing too close to the edge of the platform. So whoosh is the motion and whoosh is the sound that that train, particularly the high speed trains will make as it passes through your station. Whoosh. And you can feel the air being sucked behind it. Whoosh. Okay. Clump. Clump is a, a slower motion. Clump, clump. You can imagine the picture if you saw that movie of Lord of the Rings, the third part at the very end of the movie when the trees uproot themselves and they take part in the big war. And then they, you can see the trees, the sort of pull the roots out of the ground really, really slowly, and then they clump. Clump, clump along the ground, and you can feel the vibration as you're watching the movie. So that's what clumping is, very heavy steps. Like an elephant, an elephant will clump across the ground. It's not running at really high speed, hopefully, because you won't be able to stop them, but they clump big weight underneath the foot, clump, 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 okay? So something really heavy, imagine if you were on the surface of the moon and you're wearing these big moon boots, you have to lift up the feet because of gravity and then you put down the foot, clump, clump, clump. Okay, lumber. So lumber is, we have to make sure we don't get confused here because lumber is actually a word for wood. Yeah, the lumber, the big piles of lumber that you cut, the trees that you cut down and you make them into planks. But to lumber as a motion means to move in an 
ungainly or unfashionable way. I earlier mentioned about the elephant. Okay, so you can also use the word to lumber along like an elephant or a big, fat, heavy bear. And when the bears are getting ready to hibernate in the winter, they put on a huge amount of weight. You know, they double or triple their body weight very, very quickly by feeding off fish and berries and anything they can get. So when they're at their full weight, they will lumber along. So you can have this imagination of big, heavy animal clumping and lumbering along in the forest. Okay, so to lumber in an ungainly, unfashionable way, big, heavy footsteps, bump, bump, bump to, to lumber. Okay. And then we have slouch. Well, slouch is a, a interesting motion. I haven't heard the word for a long time, okay? But my parents used to tell me, don't slouch over your food. It means you're sitting down like this and your dish is underneath you. Sit back and put your shoulders back. Don't slouch. You'll end up with round shoulders. Or if you're sitting back, lying in the sofa with your legs stretched out in front of you, they'll also tell you, don't slouch, sit up straight. It's not good posture. It's not good for your way to, to look or to walk. Okay, so slouching is a way of moving, a way of sitting in a slightly uncomfortable, messy, and not such a, a presentable way. Okay, so when people want you to sit with your shoulders back and then sit like a, a soldier, yeah, so you shouldn't slouch. Don't slouch over your desk because you'll get a pain in your back, you'll get a pain in your neck, you'll end up with all sorts of problems about mobility. Okay, so don't slouch. Okay. Don't slouch on the couch. Mm -hmm. So not to be lying in an ungainly way on your sofa, not to be sitting in an ungainly way at your desk to slouch. Sweep. Well, a sweeping motion is something that is very quick and covers everything. We often sweep the floor. So we take all the dirt and the dust and whatever is on the floor, we sweep it up. So you can imagine this word sweep, which takes everything in front of it. Okay, so the wind swept through the valley. So you have this picture in your mind of strong winds and the trees bending as the wind was blowing or the wind and rain swept over the town. So everybody got soaked. So you're out walking and this thunderstorm started and the rain swept through the streets very, very quickly. And when you got home, you were completely soaked, completely drenched. So to sweep is a big sweeping motion to take everything in front of you, okay? But there's a nice way to describe uh, the hills, low hills uh, where they're covered in trees. You can hear the description of the trees swept right from the top of the hill to the bottom through the valley down to the ocean to sweep across everything. So as you looked up at the hills, all you could see were the tops of green trees, okay? To sweep. And then finally, scramble. Okay, when you scramble, it's you're trying hard to to do something, for example, to scramble over rocks. So if you're down on the beach and there's lots of rocks and you're trying to get up to the top of the, the hill, you have to scramble over the rocks. You have to climb very carefully over the rocks. They may be wet, they may be slippery, but you scramble over them and you reach the top. Okay, so to scramble means to to climb or to run, but not in a, a very, very organized way, but you're going from rock to rock to find the best foothold and to grab something with your hands, pull yourself up and climb over or scramble over the rocks. Okay. So when the kids are playing in the, on the beach, they scramble over the rocks in the sand dunes. Okay. So to try and get to a better location, a better view to play their game, to scramble. Okay, so these are all words about motion. Let me just go through them one more time. To saw, something going up really, really quickly. Hurtle, hurtle towards you when the, the train is out of control or the, the meteor is heading for Earth. It's hurtling towards Earth in outer space. Zoom and whiz, the whizzed by went very, very quickly. Zoom the speed of the motorbike as it passed you by on the street. 
to roll across a little slower. The ball rolled across the floor or I spilt the bag of peas and they rolled across the kitchen floor. Plunge, the opposite of source of the prices plunged because there's too much fruit on the market and not everybody's buying it. So prices fell dramatically. They plunged. Whirl, like the washing machine. The washing machine whirled. The drum of the washing machine whirls around and your clothes are washed and then they are come out dry. Whoosh, the sound as the train comes through the station at 200 kilometers an hour, an hour, one of these new super fast trains. Whoosh. Clump, the sound of that big heavy elephant coming through the forest. Clump, clump, clump. Lumber, yeah, that's the, the bear which has been feeding off all of the berries and all of the fish during the early autumn months getting ready for hibernation. So it lumbers across the forest floor. Slouch, when you're sitting over your soup, you're tired, you just got out of bed, you, you don't want to go to school, you're slouching over your breakfast or you're slouched over your desk because you've been working seven, eight, nine hours without a break. So somebody will tell you not to slouch, sit up straight, otherwise you'll get rounded shoulders. Sweep, to sweep everything in front of you. The roads sweep, okay? The trees sweep across the side of the mountain. The wind swept through the village, okay? So sweep. And finally, scramble, to scramble over the rocks, to climb over those rocks that are near the beach in an attempt to get up to higher ground, scramble. Okay, so all words, advanced English words, connected with motion. Try to use some of them, try to practice them. If you want to contact me, you can do so on www.englishlessonviaskype.com. Always happy to hear from you, always happy to give you some extra and additional examples if you need them. I'm always pleased when you watch. So this is Harry saying goodbye until next time. Thanks a lot.